my son. Yes, how are you? Did you go to school today? Yes. Where is your mommy? My mommy is good. Okay. Yes. Yes. Take the back to the room, eh? Oh, my sweet heart. <laughs> How are you? How is the baby? I hope he's kicking well. <laughs> yes. He's fine. Good. Dad, what are you doing in the kitchen? Preparing your meal. Really? <laughs> Let me finish up. Okay. Take you to the hospital. Ah! Beatrice! Yes, yeah, Beatrice! Ah! Oh, it's okay. Ah! It's alright. Ah! Sorry. Auntie, what is it? Please. 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 It's okay, let me talk with your husband, okay? Oh. I hope everything's alright. Uh, let me see you in my office. Your wife is in a precarious situation. The baby is in a bridge presentation. And the only option is Caesarean. Doctor, what? An operation? <laughs> is there no other way out of this, Doctor? No doctor will guarantee you of any other option apart from Caesarean. The only Western world would prefer Caesarean to the normal baby. Doctor, please. Please do all that. You all you can to save my wife and the baby. Hey, in other words, you have to sign the consent form for the month. Well, I mean, out there. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh. Oh. How is she? Um, she's okay. She's okay. It's just that we lost the baby. But your wife is okay. okay. Can I see her now? Are you going to see her in 30 minutes time? The nurses are trying to tidy her up. It's okay. She's the most important thing. Okay? Okay. Can I sit and we do fun?
Tell Joy to prepare Chris and bring her to my office immediately. Chief, madam, you're most welcome. Thank you. You see, the girl I'm about to give to you is one of the best we have here. She's pretty, she's brilliant, intelligent, has all the qualities every parent would want in a child. I'm sure you'll like her. Madam, I'm very grateful. You're welcome. Very, very grateful. But you see my wife here, I love her very much. I can see that. Anything that will make her happy is what I want to do. Okay. Well, I must say here, Chief, that um, you've given so much to the society. This orphanage is a beneficiary of your benevolence. And um, it will be our greatest honor to give you one of our children to call your own. Uh, we know the child will be in good hands, so we're not afraid. We're... Thank you very much for the confidence and the belief. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my dear. Good afternoon, my dear. Uh, uh, come, 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 come. So innocent. Yeah. I, I love this. I'll take her. I'll mm -hmm. take her. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Excuse me, madam. What is. What's this? What's... Oh, that. Uh, it's nothing, it's just a birthmark. A birth? Yes. A birthmark? Yeah. yeah. There's nothing to worry about. Uh, okay, okay, don't mind. We'll take her, we'll take her. Um, Priska, I am not going to call you Priska anymore. Your name from now will be my princess. Mm, that's yes. wonderful. You're my baby, you're my that's baby. That's a good one. My baby. Isn't she lucky? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so um, I take that it's all settled. Yes. Okay, in that case, um, Chief, we'll prepare all the necessary documents okay. you need to sign to formalize this adoption. No problem. All right? And a uh, change of name and... Uh, no, uh, no, um, I like the name. Okay. I think we'll retain the name. Okay, it's all settled then. Excuse me. Don't fight, you understand? Fight. Don't worry. We have problems. Go and meet with Eric now, right? Mm. Love you, my baby. Be a good girl. Please take care of my daughter for me. Glimpse of hope. Married to you for more than 20 years now, and still no child to show for it. And you still sleep peacefully. Eh? God. I lost my baby, and I thought that was all I could lose. But I never realized I also lost my peace, the security in my marriage. Oh. I am sorry, Chief. I don't have a good news for you. How bad is it? The test here shows that it's not advisable for her to get pregnant again. Doctor, why? The layers in her womb. Are so thin 
to support pregnant. And also, um, age is another factor that is against her. Age? Age? How old am I? No, Doctor. That is not possible. That is impossible. See, if she goes ahead to defy my counsel and take in, she might not come out of it. I reject it in Jesus' name. Amen. It's, um... 70 30 chances. It's okay. Why are you awake at this time of the night? Look, you are beginning to scare me. What is the meaning of all this? Been married for over 20 years and nothing to show for it. Do not. There is plenty to worry about. And you think crying for over 20 years is going to change the situation, is it? Look, Georgina, please. You are not the one on the first seat. You don't have ten functions and see people with their children. You don't mix with women and hear them talk about their children. But, but we have a child. We have host. Please, don't patronize me. Don't. Just don't! Look, Georgina, stop torturing yourself. We had a child and lost it due to no fault of yours. Will your relatives understand that? Well then, listen to me. I no longer attend your village or family meetings because I cannot stand the hygienic and taunting. I, I, I would prefer to endure the taunting of a few relatives than going through the pains of losing a wife. We, we, we had a mutual understanding that you wouldn't get pregnant again. It's not as easy as you think. It's not. It's okay. I love you so much. And I love our son. There is relative peace in my house. If crying for 20 years has not been able to change the situation, I will advise you save the rest of your tears for my dying days. You are not going to die. You will not die. Okay, I'm not going to die. I'm not dying. Stop crying.
um, I want to thank everybody for coming out today to celebrate my daughter. Once again, I say welcome to you all. My princess is um, the epitome of my joy. She is my morning dew, the jewel I have in my home. In fact, she is my heaven on earth. I want you all to feel very, very free. Enjoy yourselves. Because your friend, my princess, Priska, has everything you need for your relaxation and enjoyment. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Let us go now. Come here, I'm talking to my daughter. Huh? Vanilla. Vanilla. Yes, mommy. Okay. Um, Priska. Yes, daddy. Take care of the house, huh? I need two cups, too. Two cups? Yeah. You'll get fatter like me. Yeah, sweetheart, did you um, remember the gift? Yeah, the gift? I, I, I don't... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you sure? It's there, it's there, it's there. It's there. Okay. But Where I, is my phone? Your phone is here. Oh, my... Uh, give me, give me, give me. You forgot your own? I don't know, and she's going to call me today. Oh, God. I wonder why you forget your phone. <laughs> Accessible. I've been here a countless time. Oh my god, girl, I'm sorry. School's admission, you know. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, are you finally going to school here in Nigeria? No, 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 no. Trust daddy now. You got admission for me. I'm starting from university. That's interesting. Yeah. I envy you. <laughs> so, when do you intend leaving for the States? Depends on daddy. You know, he's a very, very busy person. Tight schedule. So, once he just gives me that call, I am. <laughs> wow. There. That's interesting. Hope you remember me in your kingdom. Oh, hello. Certificate house here. Yeah. What? Oh my god! Jesus! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Which station? Which station are you calling from? What? Okay, okay. Station. Okay. Okay. Right. Oh my god, what? Kelly! Hostage! Oh my god, I'm preparing for it! We have to.
day. Just take it easy. Yes, take it easy. Okay. Just take this corridor, the right door. were involved in a very ghastly car accident earlier on. Oh my god! Your mother survived it, and as it is now, I still battling to save her life. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. Oh. Oh. It's okay. Oh. Calm down. Oh. Calm down. Oh. Calm down. Oh. Please. Just calm down. Calm down. I'll take you there. Calm down. It's okay. Let me get something to eat. Okay. Holy Spirit, be my comfort. Hey, sorry. As long as you don't ask me. This is my sister's daughter we're talking about. My sister's daughter, I mean. Which daughter? I'm asking you a question. Her adopted child, and don't you ever forget that. Look, I mean, call it biological, I mean, adopted, whatever, okay? I am glad this my sister. Okay, a duty to help her. Good duty. Good Samaritan, which duty? When Gladys was alive, what did she do for you? What did she do for you? I'm asking you a question. She was married to a billionaire, yet 
Her only brother and family are feeling from hands to mouth. And Joshua, uh, you stand here. You, look at him. To lecture me about duty. Joshua, you are stupid. I mean, it's enough. It is not enough. It's enough. It is it's not enough. Like that. I promise you one thing. If you bring that girl to this house, I am going to make this house unbearable for everybody. Is that a threat? It is not a threat. Rather, it is a guarantee. I will come back here. Come back here. Where do you think you are going? That girl must leave my house. Period. She must leave. <laughs> we shall see. Going to. Uncle. Uncle, I heard everything. I'm so sorry how to make it go through all this. Let's go. I'm the head of this family. But she's the heart of the family. One cannot do without the other. Then, then, she must go. You have to stay till tomorrow morning. It's too late. Stay one more day in this house. No way. Impossible. With your wife. I'm sorry. I don't want to be a customer in public in this home. In that case,
Agatha, Agatha, say, say. This is a girl. Chief, your money. It was boys that robbed me. Sure. Chief Bernard, this girl will shoot here and she will see now. What did this fight get? Say they fight for this night now. Okay, lift her up, please. Lift her up, lift her up. Come, come, just carry that up. Now, what did this innocent girl say they fight for this night? Carry her, come to the guy. My car is this way. This way, this way, this way. Carry her leg, carry her leg. Carry, carry. living day out of me. What kept you so long in the office? Darling, I'm very sorry. See, I was attacked by armed robbers this evening. My God. Look at me. Hey. Uh, and the, the vigilantes who went after the armed robbers ended up shooting the innocent person. Oh, God. This is serious. The girl was rushed to the nearest hospital because she was losing so much blood. My goodness. It's okay. Thank God you were not hurt. Yes. Let us come and take your bath and eat your food. Thank you. We'll still have some time to talk. Thank you very much. How are you feeling now? I, I, I was here earlier, but you were sleeping. I'm feeling much better, sir. Thank you very much for your concern. You see, it's um, the only thing I can do for you after those. Uh, Incompetent if you let the people try to kill. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. At least I'm alive and I'm well. Um, but, excuse me, sir. Please, um, are you able to recover my belongings? Oh, I, I, I am sorry. I, I was more interested in getting you to the hospital uh, than, you know, looking after your, your, you know, your belongings. <laughs> It's okay. So whatever you lost, I will replace them twofold. Just get well, okay? Sir, it's not the cost. It's just that those things were given to me by my mother. And I cherish them so much. Making me this nostalgic feeling keeps me. I know how you feel. I know how you feel, but never to worry. Okay? Uh -huh. uh, talking about your mother. I, I want you to give me her phone number and probably her address. I want to get in touch with them. I know they must be bothered about you by now. She's um. She's what? Oh, she's the girl I told you about. Did you tell me you're bringing her home today? No, I, 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 What is your name? Priska, ma. Priska. C. 
since you have to be staying in my house, you have to walk out your stay. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. You have to do all the house chores and any other task that will be required of you. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. shopping for me when you are through with what you are doing, okay? Okay. Any last thing? No, not for me. Keeps your heart at home. Please, sir, try and eat something before you leave.
Okay, sir. Mommy gave me the money to do some shopping for her. Happy bite. Happy bite, okay. Uh, along the Air Force Road? Yes, sir. Are you going to drop her on your way? No, no, no. That's not on my way at all, at all, at all. She has to find her way. Okay, I, I will drop you. That's on my way. Priska marvels me at her level of intelligence and, and sheer brilliance. She must have had a very good upbringing because it shows in her. Did you hear what I said? Huh? Oh, sorry, honey. My mind was not there at all, at all. What were you thinking about? Nothing serious. Ordinary woman affair. Honey, how long are you staying in Abuja? Um. Between five to seven days, maximum. I will use some opportunity to see the ministry people about that contract. Okay. Honey. Yes. Austin called. He's asking for 80,000 Naira. He says he has run out of money. Huh? But at the beginning of every semester, I pay 300,000 Naira into that boy's account. What does he do with all the money I give him? Oh, honey, please don't be angry. You know the complex nature of the course he's studying. Please take it easy with him. Well, uh, in your own best interest, that boy better come out with something that you can be proud of. I hope so. I, I, I don't have cash here. Let me give you a check. I met in Georgina's house. Yes, my um, correct. Absolutely. I thought her smudge. How about her? Was she at all where you left? Um, yes, yeah, she was. But not she had one or two places to attend to. And I really don't know her itinerary for the day. Please, when you get home, tell that it's very much important for us to see. Tell also that Mrs. Uh, Mechi. Oh, beautiful. I perfectly remember. Oh, please don't forget. Thank you. Have a nice day.
money was given to me by uncle this morning to buy some clothing. Give you money to buy clothes? Yes, ma'am. Buy clothes for who? For myself. Oh. How much is it? Nineteen thousand. Nineteen thousand. Yes. That's good. That's good. Come. I have to buy the clothes myself, huh? Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. smell <laughs> and the food oh, everything come on you just left us two months ago back to school well you know mommy home is still home anytime any day <laughs> that's true <laughs> so how is school i'm sure you received the money i sent to you last week yes i received it and school was fine when i left good priska priska who's priska this whole time priska No, 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 don't, don't worry, I'll take care of myself. Why? Mommy. Let her do it, she's the housemaid. Don't worry, mom, I'll, I'll take care of myself, thank you. Thanks. Okay, so go and prepare the rice and for my son, okay? All right, ma. Any other thing, ma? Not for now. You said this girl is your new housemate. Yes. Is there anything wrong with her? Not at all. Not at all, Mom. Now I'm back to school. You said school is okay and you, that you received the money I sent to you last week. So why are you here now? Because I'm sure school is still in session. You worry too much, Mommy. Are you saying I should not come back home anytime I wish to again? No, 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 my dear, no. It's just that it took you time to secure this admission. And I want you to take your studies seriously hmm? and come out in good grades. Don't worry, mommy. Everything is under control. Okay? She says so. Mommy, let me go freshen up and then relax for a while in my room. That would be great for you. Okay, mommy. For you. Okay. Welcome home, my dear. Thank you, mommy. Oh boy, half an hour. Yes, so yes, uh, I do know. I just, I just came in. I just came into the house now. Yeah, thank God my father traveled. Though. Yes, so yes, yes. I would have had a lot of explanation to do. Ah, oh boy, my mom. Ah, I can handle her now. I don't know who's smoking. I'm smoking. I can handle her. Are you out of your mind? I can't expect me to tell her. At least not for now. I can't tell her. Not, not now. Yes. Oh, all right. You see, you know what? I don't know how I got myself into this mess, but somehow, some way, you know, I know that I will get myself out of this mess. Don't worry. I will. I will. Cynthia, I haven't called her. Oh, all right, man. All right. Okay. For one thing, I know, Shai, by the time this problem breaks out, all hell will break loose. Well, anyhow, any, I go solve her. I will find her. I will, I will, don't worry, I have no problem. Cheers, man. I got to go now. Yeah, later. Later, yeah. Are you 
doing here by this time of the night? I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Is there anything you want me to do for you, sir? No, no. But well, please, call her sad enough, okay? You should just call me Austin, all right? I'm sorry if I have to disobey you, sir. I, I do feel more comfortable calling you that. Anyway, I'm not here to argue on that. But I don't understand why you're still here by this time of the night. I don't just understand. What are you doing here? I'm just trying to read, sir. You? Read? Yes, sir. This is the only time I have to read after the day's job. And, um, you sleep here in the kitchen? Yes, we. Yes, I do. But, but, but I, I, but I, I, I don't. Never mind. Never mind. All right? How many rooms they are in your own father's house? I'm sorry, mommy. But I'm just wondering. I mean, in a big house like this, with so many empty rooms, that poor girl still sleeps on the floor in the kitchen. I see. So this is what all this is about. I made. Now listen to me, young man. This is my house. I decide who and where anyone sleeps. Do I make myself clear? But mommy... Shut up. Shut up. I'll pretend we never had this discussion. I wait. Now go to your room. Well, please, girl. Yes, sir. Don't you get tired of too much work to do? I mean, go get some rest and then later come back and finish it. Um, I'm sorry, sir. Resting is not a luxury I can afford. And moreover, I wouldn't want anything that's going to kill the rest of your mother. She's been so nice to me. Please, sir. If there's nothing that you want me to do, I'd like to continue my washing. Oh, nothing. No thanks. No thanks. What kind of human being is this? Even in the midst of so much hardship, she carries herself with so much dignity and humility. Strange. Strange. And to cap it all up. She sounds intelligent and looks beautiful, even in rags. Something is wrong somewhere. Cynthia, what's the meaning of this show? You think you're performing? I was going to your house. 
You expect me to be impressed or what? You left campus two days ago without saying a word. I expect you to comfortably sit down and do nothing. I don't need a babysitter, do I? You see, that's what I'm talking about. Pompous, pride. Look at the way you're talking to me. Look at the way you're behaving. Listen. Look, I'm tired, man. Look, Cynthia, you know what? This whole thing don't affect becoming. Why don't you think I'm getting tired of it? Listen, darling. Whatever it is that is wrong, we can always sit down and discuss it. What's happening to us? There is nothing to discuss. Cynthia, look, our problem is in my head. And you expect me to sit down here and talk about us? See, whatever the problem is, we can face it together, honey. Why? Why? What's happening to us? What's going on? We can only sit down and discuss it. You don't get it, do you? Look, go home, Cynthia. Go home. I need space. Lots of it. When my problems are over, maybe I'll call you. We can talk about it. If that's the end problem, talk about it. I'll see you. For your own good, you have to use them judiciously because it will take a long time for new ones to come like this. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Looking as cute as ever. <laughs> For you. <laughs> yes. Welcome. Yes. Um, uh, Paul, leave that back there and uh, go back. Eh? Priska, take this back to our room upstairs. Eh? Welcome, sir. Uh, how are you, Priska? Oh, I, I, I thought you were not at home when I did not see the Mercedes one night here at the garage. Austin went out with it. Austin? Yes. What is he doing at home by this time when his mates are studying at school? I don't know. He said he came to do something. And did you deem it fit to find out what those something in quote are? <gasps> Georgina, you are impossible. Honey, but Austin is no longer a small baby now. I think he can take care of himself without being supervised after he stays in school alone. Look, let me tell you something. For as long as that young man stays in my house, eats my food, and takes my money to pay his school fees, he is under my supervision. Honey, it hasn't come to that yet. No, it has. Do you know what that young man's problem is? No. You! What? Me? So I decided to preoccupy my mind with it. Is there anything you want me to do for you, sir? Oh, I wanted to take some drugs before going to bed. It's alright, I've got it. It's alright. Continue with your reading. Right. Uh, but make sure you go to bed early enough, okay? You see what this girl is reading? Making proper use of the little time she has. But what about my son? He's busy loafing around. My God, I don't know why. I just wish I had my own true child. Ah, sister, please sit down. 
You're welcome. <laughs> my brother Dinitus, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sister, you're looking, you're looking so good. In fact, you look 20 years younger than your age. That's the way it should be. I've been taking care of myself. I'm happy for you, sister. Thank you, so do I. Hey, you're looking so sweet. <laughs> thank you, my sister. Thank you. Yes. But sister, you shouldn't have come to the office. You should have come to the house. At least my wife and I will entertain you. Me? To set my foot into that home? So that your wife, that male dog, you call your wife, will have the opportunity to insult me. Be notice. I'm sorry I won't be there. Sister, you're not being fair to me. You are not being fair to me at all. You are the one that is not fair to the family. You are a beloved brother. And you decided to count yourself out. Of the family. Look, sister, you know me. You know me very well. You know that I cannot and I will not run a polygamous home. My faith does not allow that. And you know that I have a son already. Do you see a son? Or an imposed son? Look, sister, however you look at it, whether, whether imposed or a biological son, that boy is like a son to me. A son? Like a son? He's never a son. Don't be a fool. In fact, you're a fool. Do not just my brother. One day, water will find his level. And that son of yours will be of age. And he will look at your face. And we will say to you that you are not his biological father. To be for one is to be for an. And your senior sister. Remember this. Thank you and bye bye. Captain, how are you? Welcome. Uh -huh. Did you say that girl is a housemaid? Yes, she's my housemate. Is there anything wrong with her? Housemate? Yes. It's okay. Well, just that uh, I'm amazed at her level of intelligence. But she's too big to be your husband. Who is too big? Priska, intelligent and too big to be a housemate. Maybe you forgot what you wanted to say. I can't keep such a big girl as a maid in my house. That's great, big Well, it's not okay, but uh, we are all entitled to our own opinion. But if I'm to say, my dear, there is something special about that girl. Come on, honestly. Special about Fiska? Special or no special? She's still my housemaid. Starts from there and ends there. <laughs> Let us put everything back as it were before. Everything can never be as before. I have a son now. A son for someone else. I'm sorry, it can't work. Now, listen. Don't you think I have considered that before coming? I will still marry you and the boy. And the boy will become my son if you so desire. Us who live together as one happy big family. Thank God. Tell me what to do. My head is pack of confusion. Paul, sir. I don't want to go home now. 
let us drive around a little. Yes, sir. Oh. Professor. Hello, Professor. Good day. Oh, we're all fine. How's the family too? Well, yes. Uh, yes, I yeah, I, I saw him at home, yes. He hasn't told us anything. What? Oh my god. Oh. Okay, Professor, please, please, I want you to use your good offices to, 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 to do all that you can. Please, because of my sake. Yes. All right. Okay, Professor. I must get to the root of this. I must get to the bottom of this matter, please. Okay, Professor. Uh, Paul. Sir. Please, drive to the house immediately. Drive home right away now. Yes, sir. Come on, Mommy. I'm, I'm going through a lot in my life right now. I need a lot of space. You need nothing. I say you need nothing. You want to kill our son? Eh? What is it? Why are you here? What has he done that you want to kill my son for me? Eh? No son of mine will ever do what, what this boy did. What did he do? Eh? What did you hear that you want to kill my, my son? Our son? Eh? You're asking me. Ask him. Go ahead and ask him. Ask him what I've been doing with all the money we're giving in the campus. Austin, you heard your father. What have you been doing with the money given to you? Did he hear me? Of course he would not talk. He wouldn't say. But let me save you the suspense. Austin has been using the money given to him to sponsor cult activities in the campus. How? Yes. Ha! My God. How? And, and, and let me tell you, the same court was responsible for the attack on 15 students in the campus and they are now hospitalized due to injuries they sustained in the attack. Some of them were arrested and they confessed that your son, this stupid boy, is their sponsor. Hey! Hey! Hey, God! Oh! Were you not for my friend, Professor Dalamala, who intervened? This boy would have been rusticated by now. I mean, the school only suspended him and asked him to come and bring his parents to sign undertaking of good conduct. But what did your son do? He just came back here and kept quiet, gallivanting all over the place. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just pray. Just kneel down and pray to God that none of those students dies. If any one of them should die, your son will be standing trial for murder charges. What are we going to do now? Oh, did you say we? I am true with Austin's education. I am true with Austin's education. I don't want to waste my money on somebody who does not value education. Somebody who is not serious. Look at Priska. She does all the work in this house, yet she finds time to read. That's an example of somebody who knows the value of education. Please, honey, it has not come to that now. Uh, oh, you do that. Oh, I have done it already. I have done it already. I don't want to waste my time on this boy. He wasted my money on courtism. Look, Georgina, I have nothing to lose. Absolutely nothing. And let me warn you. When next I see you touch any of my cars, I will make you regret the day you were born. Do you hear me? Don't even utter a word. Don't say a word. I said it long ago. I said it that the burden of this young man is nothing but a recipe for disaster. And that is what it has turned out to be. This is not fair now. Eh? Trying to heap all the all, all the blames at my doorstep. It's not fair at all. Oh, you even have the guts. You even have the nerve to talk about being fair. After all my sacrifices for you. For this marriage and for that boy. But all a waste. All pure vanity. How fair can that be? 
Do from now on, I am going to do as my instinct tells me. I don't want to say I have any regrets about my life, but for now, let me make a meaning and impact with a little time left. So what are you going to do now? I am going to do what I should have done long ago. Yes, um, I want you to go and uh, enroll in a very good computer school within this neighborhood. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I'm very grateful. Thank you very much, sir. So I'm finally going back to school. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, just uh, keep up the faith, okay? Study hard and leave the rest for me. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Um, you call. Call. Now this. Just buy the things you need. Sorry for the accident. Hey. Let me help you. No, thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Please, please, sir. Please leave the kitchen, please. What do you want me to do for you, sir? Ah, God. Hey. Sir, please. Sir, please say what you want and please leave the kitchen, please. Sir. Did you know what I said? Say what you want and to be done, but please. Hello, sir. Huh? Yes, I said say what you want and to be done, but please leave the kitchen. Nothing. Nothing. Never mind. This is temptation. This girl will kill me. Oh, this girl will kill me. This car marvels me at her level of intelligence and, and sheer brilliance. She must have had a very good upbringing because it shows in her. Did you hear what I said? There is something special about that girl. Come on, please. Special about Priska? Look at Priska. She does all the work in this house, yet she finds time to read. That's an example of somebody who knows the value of education. Hmm. So this has been the plan all along. Work her way into the house of everybody around me, including my husband. 
And now, Donatus wants to abandon my son for this bastard. In this house. Eh? The music has turned into a war song. And we must dance the war dance in order to protect our lives. Okay. Show those books on the floor and start telling them to do this right now. Oh, I don't know. Are you dying for me to do something? Stop telling them to do this. Please. 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 Dress well for once. Well, it's not that I'm against it, too. It's just that you may not know the value of these clothes. Huh? I should just make them all up. I don't think so. I do not think so. Ah, why are you looking like this? Um, um I was going to. I was going to spray some clothes outside when I accidentally hit my face on the frame of the door. That must have been very painful. Have you taken any pain reliever? Yes, and she gave me some and you are. Um, these clothes are for you. Hmm? And then, that reminds me, what are the ones I gave you money for? Yes, I did buy the clothes and some boots too. Oh, that's Thank good. you very much. That's very good. I have given your auntie some money. Uh, Anytime you make up your mind on who's computer school to attend, tell her she's going to go to register you. Um, let me go to the club. I may come back a little bit late. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. So, I'll be with you. Yeah. Come back. Go and keep those clothes in my room.
Listen, come to me. Nobody's at home. No, sir. No, sir. Please. Listen, I wanted to tell you that after the bathroom. No, please, sir. I don't want to complicate my life, sir. Please. What do you mean, complicate your life? Please, sir. Listen, please, girl. I want you to be my girlfriend. Sir, listen, sir. Listen, sir, please. I can't do this. Please. I'm begging you, sir. Please. Cut that sergeant off. Call me Austin. Austin. All right. All right. Austin. Please, please, sir, please. I don't want to complete my life. Please, besides, my benefactor's son. Please, don't do this, sir. Please, your parents have been very nice to me, sir. Look, cut my parents out of this. <sighs> huh? Why are you being stubborn? Why? Why are you being stubborn? I'm sorry, sir. Huh? I'm sorry, sir. Are you saying you don't like me at all? I are like... you saying that? No, I like you as a person, sir, but nothing more. Please, please, nothing more, sir. Nothing more. Nothing more. That's all, sir. Please. Okay, Priska. Priska, come. to be telling me that you are my girl and I like you. This one kept. Why? I'm sorry, Ma. I wanted to finish washing the dishes, then mopping the floor before coming to you. This still. My God. You want to finish washing clothes and mopping the floor before cleaning my sitting room, isn't it? I'm sorry, Ma. I'm sorry. Come, 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 come here. You want to start running my home for me? No, Ma. You want to tell me how to do? How to do? Mommy, 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 it's okay, bro. It's okay. She should just come and clean this place up, bro. Okay, bro. She will. I'm going to call her. Mom, she will do it. Don't worry. <sighs> no. I must frustrate this girl. That's the only way I can get her to leave this house on her own accord. I can't send her away. Donatus will not agree. But if I put pressure on her quietly, she will run. Yes! That small girl cannot come and take over my house from me. And my, my, my husband wants to train her in school. And the next minute, she's a new wife. Ah, no. No! God forbid! God forbid! Take it easy. Okay. okay. Oh, Austin, you're welcome. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? Good. Long time. Yeah. Um, I'm here to put this straight to you. Hold on. You can go inside. Yes. But I'm not, I'm not really interested in going anywhere. Oh, Austin, please, you have to go No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not it's here just... for any going inside or what. I'm here to put it straight to you. All right. Since you don't want to go in, I think I have to leave. You guys really need to talk, Austin. Try and sort things out with her. I think I have to leave now and stop the rain from dropping from my friend's eyes. Since I'll see you later. Okay, take care. What, um, come, what's, what, what's, what, what's this all about? It's, it's just a concerned friend. Concerned? Mm -hmm. I see. Look, Cynthia, I'm here to put it straight to you. This whole relationship thing is not working. Don't you understand? No. It's, I'm getting tired of everything. It's not true. It's true. I'm fed up. You've not given it all it deserves. All I need from you is time and attention. Unfortunately, and you can it those are the things I cannot spare for now. No, you all can't. Right? You can't do it. No. I can't. I'm tired. Don't you get it? I'm tired of everything. I love you. Look, and the one thing I want you to let you know is this. I don't ever want to see you in my house again. Just stop no, coming near no, my house again. I'm, and I'm serious, no, so no. stay away from me. Please, please. I'm tired. I'm so tired of you. 
I Fed up. Austin, I love you. Don't go, please. Oh, please. Please, I beg you. I love you. I love you so much. You know I love you. You know my heart. Don't leave me. You know how it started. You know how much, how much you care. Don't go like that. Get off me. No, 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 I said no, I said no, don't go, don't go, please, I love you, I do love you, look at me, just, no, don't go, if, if there's anything I've done, I'm sorry, I'm going to turn it around, I can't, we can't do it. Since you don't want to sleep, you prefer to stay awake. I have a better option. Hmm? Now get into the sitting room, pack all the clothes there. Go and start washing them right now. If you cannot sleep, you can as well be busy. Sorry.
Priska, why are you shivering? Damn, your temperature is high. I'll be alright, sir. I'll be fine. Wait, does mom know of her condition? No, sir, please. Priska, leave the dishes. You're shivering so much that you're still thinking about ditches. Look, you need to go to the hospital now, okay? No, sir, please. I'm all right now, sir. I'm all, I'm all right. Priska, please. You need medical attention fast. My mother will be out for a long time. Why are you punishing yourself? Please, let's go. Let's go. All right? Come in as you please, isn't it? Hmm? Look at my whole house. My sitting room is in a total mess. My kitchen is smelling terribly. And you walk in majestically with my stupid son. You are accomplished, I suppose. Eh? Mom, mom. Priska is sick and I had to take her to the hospital. She has malaria. Oh, really? <coughs> you are sick? I see. Why don't you just die and join your miserable parents wherever they are? Let me give you a befitting burial. Hmm? You are sick. Because of your stupid sickness. That's why you left my whole house in a total mess. Eh? No, I can't allow you to do this, Mom. I can't. Stay out of this. Stay out of this or you regret this, Austin. Mom, I mean it. I cannot allow you to do this. Let me go upstairs and come back and meet my house in this mess. I will roast you like corn and eat you up. Sully, you are sick. You are not sick yet. Sorry, okay. You shouldn't have done that, sir. I know what the trouble. Don't you dare say that. Don't you. Fashion up. <coughs> Just go and fashion up, okay? Oh, 
Just I know. Relax. Nothing is happening. Relax. Eh? Boy, it's not a laughing matter now. It's not a laughing matter. You know now. Look, I've tried everything. Everything to get this babe. Even to go against my mother for her. Still no show. Not even a common kiss. A kiss. Ah! Austin. Austin, see, see, see. If that is your problem, just consider it's done. Why am I the prof? Eh? I'm the prof, okay? Relax. What are you talking about? Now listen. This is the way the game goes. It is a perfume from Pakistan. And see, Austin. Perfume from Pakistan. Relax, Austin. This is the way you are going to use it. Listen attentively. You I just have it. to spray it in your room. Listen, not on you or on her in your room. <laughs> And see the result. See the actions to my reaction. Relax, man. I'm the pro, man. Where, where, where are they? Where are they? I'm the pro. Where are they now? Relax. Relax. Right, I'll try. Relax. Don't worry. Priska Priska yes, How many times have I told you to call off this cell phone? I mean, just call me my name, okay? Anyway, I want you to go to my room, the bathroom, pick up the clothes there and wash them, okay?
Dad, you mother of God! Was I born for this? Was I born to suffer with total pain? I lost my pants! My home! My freedom! I know! I've lost my virginity! Who knows what next I'm going to lose? Maybe my life! Because, mother! I've lost the world to you! What I don't know is, are you considered all that? And what all this happened to me? I can't take it anymore. The man was good in for, but it's for you to help me. It's for the enemy of me. It's for the enemy of me. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore, mother.
aside, mother. Step aside. Or be prepared to disown me as your son. Step aside, mother. What do you want? You are a despicable mother. You make me sick. How can you carry so much hatred in your heart and you still breathe, mother? Ah! Where are you going with those kids? Where are you going? Your father has warned you not to touch any of his cars. Leave my way. Leave my way, mother. Leave my way. You place a hot iron on someone's daughter's back. You are a heavy incarnation of everything. Everything that I despise, mother. So Leave me alone. Go ahead. Let's see what we can do. Get back! Open the Submit it to your thanks before the end of today's work. Good. Well, uh, gentlemen and ladies, we have to expedite action on this project. As you are all aware, we are not going to get an extension of that at the expiration of this one. Sir, we are assuring you that as long as we continue to have regular supplies of material to the site, we we will meet up with the completion deadline. Definitely, sir. Well, that is reassuring enough. Please sit down. In the interest of all of us, let it be that way. Because we will be talking about millions of Naira losses if we fail this deadline. Hello? Yes, Austin. Why are you calling me in the office? What? Hospital? Where is your mother now? Okay, I, 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 I will be on my way right now. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. 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 I, I we have to postpone this meeting for another time. Let me go.
one, okay? Don't worry. You're all right. You're all right, girl. Take it easy, easy. Just quietly. Oh, that is nothing, it's just a bird marker. did this to this young girl must be very wicked. Doctor, please, whatever it takes, I don't mind. I don't want anything to happen to this young girl. No problem. We're going to take care of that. Doctor, please, try your best for us. What was that mark on her hand? Will any of your clients want to buy a baby with a mark? Oh, that. It's just a bad mark. Have you forgotten? The girl you sold to me, just... few... <laughs> Who is she? Oh, um, her name is Priska. Uh, she's my house girl. The information she gave us uh, is that um, she was adopted by um, Chief Ike. She will stay with us um, since that time. Chief Ike. Oh, it's okay. It's okay.
What's her name? Why this sudden interest in my girl? I did not come here to be interrogated. What's her name? You don't understand. They call her Prisca. She's the housemaid to one of our long-time clients. Chief Donatus. She was adopted by Chief Gregory Ike before he died. What? House help? Chief Ike? Jesus Christ. That's the girl. That's the girl you sold to me 18 years ago. She was adopted by Chifike and his wife Gladys. And since I heard of Chifike's death, I've been looking for her everywhere. She has a tumor on her left arm. Don't you remember? back to me. I want her back. I can't allow her to suffer. Something in me told me when I first saw that girl that if I had contact with her. God. Product is ready now. Product, okay. Uh, what's the sex of the product? F female. A female. Aren't you giving me too many females these days? Well, it's okay. I can manage that. Okay, um, I'll be on my way to your office right away. No, no. Don't come to my office. Let's meet at the Bruno. But then the product will be sent to your orphanage. Okay, that's even better. Tomorrow morning, I'll pay in 200,000 to your account. How about that? No. 400. Okay, now listen. Um, I'll do something about that. But I won't give you 400,000 like you said earlier. I don't have that. I can give you 300,000. How about that? Okay. 300 is okay. That's a trouble. That's a serious trouble. What you do, that's a problem. It means the girl is living with her real father as a household. I don't understand. You mean Chief Donatus is a Prisca's biological father? That's just it. Does anyone know yet? Then that will be our natural secret. If he gets out, there will be trouble. Ah. <laughs> I hope you are the Oh, there will be plenty of trouble today. So, my daughter is going to be the last person they will say. Tell me, let me just 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 let me you may not step up! You! Uh, you may not step up! Oh, by the way! Stand in place! Leave me! Leave me! Leave me! It's alright! It's alright! Just go and take the key! Then I just go to the ground! Then I can't leave you like this! Oh, I don't want this part! So I can't leave you! Don't worry! I can't leave you! I'm on the ground! Don't worry! Don't worry! Today! It's your judgment day! Yes! Today is your judgment day! Then keep your hands there! I'll be right back! No! no. So 
sold my daughter to the highest bidder. You sold my daughter to the highest bidder just because of your uncontrollable greed for money. Sorry. And you, you and I come please. I am going to deal with you, two of you. For every pain you suffered in the last 18 years, I am going to snuff out of you. For every pain and blood she shed in the last 18 years, you are going to pay them forward. What have I done? Sister, oh God, how can I even live under the same room with her after the atrocity I have committed against her? What was I thinking? Why? Among the millions of women in this country, the only girl, the only woman I had uncontrollable passion for is my sister. God. God. What have I done? What have I done? Why are you calling me? No, 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 listen to me. If it is to come and pay the hospital bill of that bastard girl, then you are calling the wrong number because I'm not going to drop my penny on her. Mother, that bastard you so wickedly refers to happens to be your daughter. Priska, my sister. Your own flesh and blood, mother. What? My daughter, because she stays in my house, eats my food, sleeps in my kitchen, has my husband and my son under her spell, that now qualifies her to be my daughter? You must be crazy. In fact, you are insane. Cut madness out of this, mother. Your child did not die 18 years ago as reported by Dr. Sylvester. He sold her out to a children's care center. She is Priska, the girl you have brought hell upon, mother. Priska, my daughter? Yes, Priska is your daughter. And she's in the hospital battling with her life for being a victim of the wickedness, mother. For being a wicked of the wickedness. Your wickedness, mother. Hello? Hello? No. God. This can't be true. This can't be true. God. What have I done to myself? What? No. I was going to do this. So you woke up one morning and you decided to save somebody's child. And of all the people in the whole wide world, you chose me. Ah, you are going to pay with interest. I will rip your heart out if I have to. Yes, I promise you that. I'm so sorry. And you, the accomplice. You 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 enslaved my my daughter for the past 18 years. And you made me go through hell. You made me go through a lot of terrible things. We can settle it. Uh, yes, that's what we're going to do. We are going to settle it here and now, right now. That's what we're doing. I promise you. My client are all ears, please. <laughs> Your client should hear what you do here in this closed door.
Stop, nurse. You better get all your nurses to the side of my daughter right now. Otherwise, this place I'll get you. Please, you must go into the walls. Get that side for her, please, please. Move it! Like this. You like all like this. Move on. Move on. Okay, sir. Move on. Move on. Move on. Child Move on. Move on. Tell me who your clients are. Talk to me. Please. Tell me who you work. Please. Talk to me. Who your clients are. Tell me. She's wearing a, a brown top and she has a wound on her back. Did you see any girl walk past her? Um, I don't know. I, I haven't seen any kind of girl. You, you didn't see any girl no, like I, that? I did not see her. I don't know. Alright, thank you. Is, my light is gone. My life have tried to live like good as no home, no joy, no peace, no love. All my hope is gone. I receive more sorrows and everything I do. I receive nothing but pain. I save it moments girls. My death has prevailed. This is the passion of my blood. Passion. And my days are filled with my tears. Days and the life is full of pain. Oh, pain. So my sorrows in my so life. life. This is the passion of my blood. Oh, and my days are filled with tears. Yeah. And the life is full of pain. Mm -hmm. So my sorrows in my life. God. I can't take it. 
anymore. This is too much to be ahead. I have to put an end to all this. I have to. I tried to save my fate, cause I'm a stranger here. I belong to nowhere. This is the passion of my blood. Passion of my blood. And my days are filled with tears. With tears. And the life is full of my life is full of So my soul is in my soul. This is the passion of my blood. Hello, Daddy. Yes, Daddy. I'm on our trail. Yes, sir. No, Daddy, no. If I don't find Prisca, I am not coming back home, Daddy. Yes. If I don't find her, I'm not coming back home, Father. I'm not. I'm not coming back home. Yes, Daddy. I'm not, Daddy, I'm not. This is the passion of my blood. And my days are filled with tears. And my life is full of pains So my soul is in my way So much pains, my tears, my light is gone My life have tried to live like a death No home, no joy, no peace, no love All my hope is gone I receive more sorrows And everything I do I receive nothing but pain I save it moments goes My death has been fair. This is the passion of my blood passion. And my days are filled with my tears days are filled with tears And the life is full of pain oh, yes. So my sorrows in my so life Priska, you're, you're, you're my sister, my blood sister. Priska, we, 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 we found out the truth. How? My mother, your auntie, it's your true mother. My father, it's your real father. Please forgive us. We know we've wronged you in many ways. Please forgive us, Priska. Please forgive us. My mother gave that to you 18 years ago and you were stolen by a doctor. A doctor stole you away from us. That's what happened, Priska. You, you mean uh, Auntie is my mother? Yes. My, she is my, your true mother. Your blood. Hello, Daddy. Yes, it's me, Austin. Yes. I found her. Yes, Daddy. We're in Havana Hospital. Okay, Daddy. Yes, sir. Okay, sir.
Come down, please leave now. As you can see, she needs rest. Don't worry, she'll be fine, okay? She's going to be fine. Oh, my God. 